Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And did you know that some people are using feral cats as a do-it-yourself pest control? Well, one thing to really understand is that there's a lot of things that go into that before you maybe get to that point. So one thing to understand is that environment is gonna create a huge problem or huge reason why rodents could be an issue uh, in and around your home. So one thing to pay attention to is there are a lot of construction going on. Uh, one thing that happens a lot is if there's, uh, maybe you live in like a big city and they're constantly tearing down old buildings, building new ones up, doing renovations, remodeling, this can really cause a lot of rodents that may be in that property uh, to leave and then again seek shelter and food sources elsewhere which could end up being in your home so especially if you're in a tight knit city area that could be one thing that could cause that now obviously you can still have rodent issues if you don't live in a big city one thing to pay attention to a lot as well is going to be sanitation and cleanliness around your home so some simple things that you can do uh, as a form of pest control yourself is properly clean up after yourself. One thing that a lot of people don't really think about is if they have pets, right? If they have dogs, dogs will, you know, leave ex excrement all over the yard, right? Some people aren't really on their game of picking that up and cleaning that up. Well, that could be a food source and one thing that can attract rats in rodents into your yard. So if you do have a dog, make sure you clean up after them and stay on top of it because that could be one reason why you have rodents around your home. Another thing to keep in mind is properly sealing and storing your garbage. Uh, it's one thing again is that rodents are going to live where there's a food source and there's shelter so and water. So again, that's perfect if you're leaving out garbage that could be the perfect opportunity for them to get that food source without a lot of work. So if you're not sealing it properly, uh, you're not taking it out when you should be, and maybe you're leaving piles of it next to your garbage bin, again, all these different things can attract rodents and mice and different things like that, again, to your home. So be sure that you have proper sanitation. Now, some people have decided that they wanna kinda of take pest control, do it yourself to the, the next level, right? And they have started to use feral cats as a form of pest control. So a couple things to really keep in mind when you're doing that. Uh, this can work, you know, it can be effective by adding in another natural predator, but there is gonna be a lot more maintenance that goes into having cats as a form of pest control. So one, you're gonna have to take care of them. So you're gonna have to set up litter boxes outside, make little shelters for them, give them water. So it's almost like you're adopting another pet. Another thing to keep in mind too is these cats, you know, they're kind of wild cats to begin with, so somehow they're gonna have to be trained to stay in your yard. And is that always gonna be possible? You know, probably not. So that's another issue that arises. Uh, another thing too is if they're killing a lot of rodents in your yard, a lot of times they don't eat all of them, so you might end up having rodent parts all over your yard. You know, dead rodents, dead animals that they're leaving behind that they didn't eat, so that can, again, cause an issue that you're gonna have to clean that up. Um, so overall, you know, it can have its uh, benefits by having cats in your yard, but if you're not the kind of person that would wanna adopt three or four cats to begin with, it's probably not something you wanna start using as a form of pest control. Where again, yes, there may be more hands off, but there's still some maintenance aspects you're gonna have to take care of, be it cleaning up dead animals in your yard, you know, giving water to the cats, changing their litter boxes, different things like that, uh, which again, if that's your style, you like cats, you wanna do that, by all means, try this out. But again, for most people, it's not gonna be a very good fit uh, to use feral cats as a form of pest control. So again, we really recommend reaching out to a pest control service, having them come out, take care of these pest issues that may be around your home. And again, you know, if you're, game for it feel free to give it a try but for the most part it's not going to be a fit for most people so again hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video if you did feel free to comment and share and then if you are a first time customer with us over at rove pest control be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and just enter your information for 50 dollars off your first initial service with us so if you've never hired us to help out with pest control before you can do that over at rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and get that great discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.